can you t- tell us a little bit more about the engineering interviews and what yeah, they're like? Yeah, yeah. Um, so at, at this college, uh, there'd be two two interviews, mm. and they're about uh, 20, 25 minutes long. Yep. There'd be uh, you, the candidate, yep. and two um, interviewers. So it's, it's, it's three people, mm. and it's either going to be online or it's going to be uh, in person, mm. uh, but the the content is is similar. So, mm. so what is the content? So, we're um, present the candidate with a with a situation um, that they're likely to be relatively unfamiliar with. Mm. It's not, it's not a it's not there are no tricks. So. Here's the situation. How 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 would you tackle this situation? And using uh, your your knowledge from from the schoolwork, so that's going to be uh, maths and physics. So I, I don't know. It could could be a electrical circuit that we mm. that we sketch out, or it could be um, you know it could be um, forces for uh, some sort of force balance. It could be something a bit more abstract, but you, you're still able to to tackle it. So if it was in person, we'd likely have a paper and pen. Mm. Uh, and if it's online, we use the online whiteboard. So we, we pop up a situation and then uh, you, it, it, it can feel a little bit like um, we're all working on it together. Obviously, we're not. We're trying to get the the candidate to mm. to, to do the work. Yeah. Uh, but one one piece of advice is just um, just um, explain what, what your your thinking, your mm. your your process. When you like, okay, this looks like a force problem. I'm gonna I'm mm. maybe need to resolve some forces. So I'm gonna set up the uh, the angles here and so on. And then uh, you might get feedback from the interviewers. Mm. Um, so you know, listen mm. <laughs> and, and, and react. So, what what do I mean? So, what I'm, one situation is, um, we know we have to really stick to the schedule, as you can imagine. Mm. So, we, you know, maybe ten interviews a day, and everyone's got a start time finish. We can't mm. we can't muck with that. So the candidate might say, all right, I think you can solve the problem this way and maybe start on that route. Mm. And they they might well be right, Um, but it might be going to take a bit longer. Mm. So you might down down another route. Mm. So you might hear the interviewer say, oh, that, you know, that's a good approach. That that would work. Um, Are there any other angles you could Mm. could take? Mm. And um, yeah, so... I guess if you don't talk out loud your thinking, the interviewer has no idea what's going on. Then will struggle yeah. be able to won't be able yeah. to guide you. Yeah, that's right. And uh, and don't don't overdo it. There's mm. <laughs> so you, might, you can get some equation, so, some um, situation where I say right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, f equals m a here. So I'm writing f yeah, see. is equal to m times a. Yeah. You're like okay, we don't need that. Uh, yeah. We know. We're really happy that you're using F equals MA. And let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know, so yeah. don't don't don't. What am I saying? Don't slow yourself down by some kind of big narration mm. that that, that yeah. you're doing. That's not needed. Just choosing what things need to be said and explained, and what yeah. and um, and what things you need. You feel like you need to voice out in case you might be on the on the wrong track, or just to communicate so that the interviewers know yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Um, is I was just curious, like um, from the interviews that you've done in the past, um, what tips would you have or pitfalls that you'd want future applicants to avoid that you've seen um, students go through in the past? Yeah. Um, one one comment I usually make is mm. um, when, when you're writing your, um, filling in your application form, um you might say you 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 you'll say a number of things that that you've done mm. and uh, as well as those kind of um questions i was just saying where you sort of set up a problem and you work on it 
um, the interviewer might say, "Oh, I see you've um, usually at the start. You know, I see I see you've um, had some experience of A, or you've mm, done a little bit yeah. of work on B. Um, so just think about what you've written or what you're ri- what you're writing, mm. and just say if I if I." And there's supposed to be like a softball question. Yeah. So, um, if I if somebody picked up on this, what 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 would I say? Uh, mm, yeah. And um, yeah. So occasionally, you know, some somebody might have kind of overemphasized something mm. as as being a a kind of bigger thing than it was, yeah. and then you dig a bit. And just really unluckily, in a way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The interviewer says, "What what about this?" And it, and there isn't so much behind it. Now that's 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 not uh that's not a serious problem because mm. it's only supposed to be a softball question yeah. to get yeah. you into the meeting into yeah. the interview yeah. and then we get on to the technical stuff but i'm sure that if you'd got into that situation you'd, you'd think oh mm. i shouldn't have done that but um so don't just think oh i can talk about this i can talk about that yeah i guess it's a it's a real shame if um someone feels a bit caught out by that and then that affects the rest of the interview. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but that's a good general point. Uh, and it's tough, but um, you, because you can, you can feel that you haven't done well on any part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but um, that's, that's sort of okay. Everyone's not doing well on some part of it. Mm-hmm. So just, uh, and also you might have done better than you think because mm. one aspect of interviews is that the interviewers keep going. Yeah. Uh, so you, you're sort of ticking all these boxes and then just one further box and that's a bit tricky. Well, don't, mm. don't worry. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's, it's really hard to know as a candidate. So just keep, keep positive and go, okay, what's the next thing? So you know. would I be right in thinking that everyone would be um, finding the interview difficult because the interviewer is continuing to challenge you so you don't get stressed out if you feel like that uh yeah that's if if you can uh, keep, <laughs> keep keep that approach yeah that yeah. um that that's right and um yeah that that might well that might well be the situation yeah mm, yeah yeah because i guess there's only 25 minutes and you want to make the most most of that yeah, time yeah so um yeah you Mm. trying trying to get trying to get through as much stuff um because you want to give the candidate as much opportunity to demonstrate um mm. what 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 they're able, what what how they can apply what they've learned so yeah if if there's two interviews um are they both interviews on engineering or is one of them more maths focused or is physics involved? Or? I, well, we've defined maths earlier as a subject, a yeah. subset of engineering, didn't yeah. we? No, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, so they're both, they're both technical interviews here. So mm. we, we, we might pick up a bit on, on something on their personal statement, mm. but both will be different aspects of engineering. So uh, w- at least some of that w- will be on maths. Yeah. Mm. And so, so some of it might. I mean, the answers to <laughs> what the mic. The answers to most of the questions might involve maths, but some of the questions might be a straight, straight pure maths. Yeah, that's okay. also fair game. And then some, some of it, uh, most of it will be the application of maths and yeah. physics solve problems. This might, this might be a, a dumb question for me, but uh, what's the difference between like a being asked a physics question and being asked an engineering question? Uh, yeah um i think that in many cases i i haven't sat in the in the physics interview okay. um but because uh candidates are at, at that point uh mm. trained uh have taken the same subjects yeah so that there's likely to be quite a big overlap between between mm. those questions would I would I be right in thinking as a upcoming engineer, you'd have to be quite you it's more important for you compared to the physicist to be able to apply theoretical stuff and have like imagine what it is in the real world, whereas maybe that's not as important. Uh that that's something that engineers have to do. But um there's a lot of physicists would say that they're, doing, they're <laughs> doing that as well. So yeah. they, they, I mean they, so you so 
at, at this at the university you can do engineering mm. uh, uh, you can do natural science and physics is yep. uh, physics or you can do maths uh, and all of those things uh, uh, overlap mm. so it's just a it's a question of emphasis